So to start off, you've got your mealworms, you've got no beetles yet. Go out and buy yourself a big tub. 32 litre tub, this one. And I've got oats and substrate. That's all you need, cheap and cheerful. Run down to Tesco's, Asda, Walmart, whatever it is, your local supermarket. Pick yourself up some dead, dead cheap oats. You can go for wheat bran, you can go for all that sort of stuff. I find oats is the best. They also need a mo moisture content. Don't go for anything wet. Don't go for salad or anything like that. Go for something like carrots. They're not wet, but they've still got the moisture content. You can go for banana peels. Now my little lad, he loves bananas. Why not use the peels? Saves the waste. So I chucked them in there. As you can tell, that is what's left of a banana peel put in there yesterday. It works, perfect, they get the moisture content. I find the potassium level in the banana peels keeps them alive for longer, pupates perfectly, and I have a better success rate. Maybe you can too. So once you've been out and bought all your stuff, put about two inches of oats in the bottom of your tub. As you can see, there's mine, a couple inches, nothing special. Get your mealworms, as I said, only pick up a few tubs each week. Just get them and go, boop, tip them straight into the tub and let them do their business. Top tip. Go down to your local supermarket, your reptile supply supermarket, and buy the tubs of mealworms that are going out of date. They've normally got them reduced down to about 50p, and they're normally the ones with the most pupa in. Perfect for your mealworm farm, and cheaper. As you can tell by all the rubbish that's in here, this is all just old banana peels and stuff like that, and it is quite dusty. There's one thing you need to realize about this, these. They're fraz. The fraz is just another name for their poop. It's just like a really fine dust powder. It can cause allergies, especially if you're cleaning them out a lot. Now, when they do it, when they do have a poo and all they're wriggling around, moves all the substrate around, it all goes down to the very bottom. Let's have a dig and see if I can show you. See how dusty it is down the bottom? Let's have a zoom. All that dust is their fraz. That can cause allergies and get up your nose. So if you do decide to clean these out, or when you decide to clean them out, do it outside. What you need to clean these out is just a simple sieve. Massively well ventilated area, do it outside your house. Just scoop it up, and you can see all the frazz falling down there. You don't need to do it as often as you think. This particular tub is about three months old. It's been cleaned out once. It is due another clean out but it's only been cleaned out once. Always a good idea to wear a dust mask when you're doing it. You don't want all that stuff getting up your nose. It's horrible. You're sneezing for a few days, wear the dust mask. Occasionally, you will need to put more oats in there. That's obviously because they're eating the oats, so you're gonna need to replace it. Dead cheap, down at your local Walmart. To reiterate, in summary, what you need is a big tub to stick all your mealworms in, Oh, what oats to use a substrate, banana peel to feed them, and that's it. When they pupate, get them out, chuck them in another tub, sorted. 